So what is Ford going to do about this broken GT350? Last week I was driving the car and the motor just started knocking hard. Uh, I'm going to link the video to last week's. So go ahead and, and take a look at that if you haven't seen that video. So about eight days ago I towed the car to the Ford dealership here in Port Orchard. And uh, really cool guys, they've always been really nice and, and taking care of me. So the following day I called Ford Customer Service uh, to file a claim and uh, honestly requesting a buyback on the car. So th that was just kind of like an automated process through some call center. So at that time I hadn't actually talked to a customer service representative. The dealership called me back. They said uh, they found a bunch of metal shavings in the oil and clearly the, you know, the way the motor was sounding, uh, it was knocking, the motor was done. The, the car is gonna need a new motor. So the following day, I got a call from my actual uh, regional customer service representative uh, who will be assisting me in determining if, if I do qualify for a buyback or just kind of helping me through this process. And so far, she seems really nice. The communication has been great. Uh, I don't have any issues or complaints. She told me I would hear something back within a week. So that is either today or tomorrow. So I'm expecting that call literally any minute now. I did get in touch with the dealership a couple days after I dropped it off. Uh, they tried to order another motor from Ford. They found one locally, you know, it was in the mid $30,000. Ford actually told them no uh, before they send out a motor, uh, even though the car's under warranty, they wanna see uh, the motor, the current motor disassembled uh, and they want detailed pictures of what actually failed. Now the car is bone stock, so I'm not worried about any warranty fraud or anything like that. The car only had 1,700 miles. I know Ford is gonna take care of it. Uh, and I think that they just wanna know, uh, you know, maybe for future reference, like, okay, well, what broke in the car? You know, I had oil pressure, uh, so I don't think it was the oil pump gears, uh, but I, I don't know. I'm not the one taking apart the motor. So I know that this week, uh, maybe today, uh, the dealership is gonna start disassembling the motor to take pictures to Ford. So that puts us at, at already nine days of having the car down. So I know in most states, uh, if the car is down for 30 days, um, you have a better chance of getting your buyback. So that's why I'm, I'm kind of documenting this timeline. So it's been over a week. The motor's still not disassembled. We don't have one on order. So that's that. Um, I have asked for a loaner car. Uh, I have not gotten one yet. The dealership said uh, they're going to try and get me some new wheels tomorrow. So I'll keep you guys updated on that. I think that I qualify for one. The car's down for under warranty and I don't have a car to drive, right? Everybody that follows this channel know that I sold my daily driver and my race car to get into this GT350. So, uh, you know, luckily the wife can walk to work and I've been kind of taking her Jeep back and forth when, when necessary, but it would be really helpful for Ford to step up and give me a loaner car. Okay, I think that's about it. I want to touch on a couple comments that I got regarding the last video. Uh, first of all, I want to thank you guys for uh, commenting on the video, and it, it seems like everybody's, you know, pretty sympathetic to what's going on, and, and I, I hope that too many other GT350 owners do not have to go through this. So, um, Brent says, sorry for your loss, but all these engine failures are due to dumbasses revving them up at the dealerships before temperatures come up. Uh, I totally agree with that. You know, I bought the car used. It only had 160 miles on it but it was sitting on a used dealership lot. So I don't know how many guys, and I'm kind of guilty of this, took it out for a test drive and pushed the car probably further than it should have uh, before it was properly broken in. Now, after I bought the car, uh, you know, for the next 500, uh, almost 800 miles, I did break the car in properly, but I don't know what happened at that used dealership lot. Uh, computer fly, subscribed, can't wait to see how this plays out. I hate this for you. Hey, me too, man. Thank you so much. And uh, I'm going to keep everybody uh, informed because I know that other GT350 owners and Mustang owners in general are kind of uh, waiting to see kind of how Ford handles this. If you end up trading it for a Focus, Brian can do it. That's not going to happen. Uh, Goins, 2754. I'm surprised Ford wouldn't tow it in. Usually a dealer will tow it in, but if it ends up not being warrantied, okay, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, so I, th I think Ford actually would have towed it in. When I called the dealership, I think that that salesman wasn't aware of maybe that my car was still under warranty. Um, since then, I have downloaded the Ford uh, Pass app, so I think I could have just requested a tow from there, but 
Uh, I didn't know that at the time, and neither did uh, the salesman from the Ford dealership, unfortunately. Uh, I did have my insurance towed in. It didn't cost me anything, uh, but it would have been nice to kind of get that uh, on Ford. I agree. All right, the best comment, Sam Manganello. Learn how to drive a muscle car. All right, thank you for the advice, man. I really appreciate that. So thanks to everyone for subscribing to kind of follow along on this uh, buyback process. And uh, I'll continue to keep everyone updated as, as new things come, uh, at least once a week. I think that's probably fair for me and you guys. So uh, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys soon.